All right. You thought you could get out of a leap lesson. Just kidding. Today, we are going to be learning a, something new. <laughs> we are going to learn um, some new notes today. We are going to learn how to play um, a D, different D than the one you know already, and another new note. Um, this is all going to be on the A string. Um, so before we do that, let's start with uh, playing some stuff that we know. You'll notice that I do not have a, a violin, viola, or cello. Um, that's because I left it at school. So I'll be playing guitar, but it's fine, because it all sounds the same. And you get to look at me play guitar. Anyway, um, first of all, thank you for tuning in. Um, it is uh, good to, to, to see you, although I can't see you, but you can see me. Um, I miss you all greatly. I really wish that we could be learning together right now. We could be making music together. Unfortunately, that's not the case, so this is what we're doing today. So, let's get started. Um, this should take about 20-ish minutes. Um, I will... We'll start with something that we know, and then we'll get right to um, things that we don't know. So let's let's get started. Um, I'm looking at my book right now, Essential Elements Quiz. No, Essential Elements Book for Strings. Um, this lesson is for violin, viola, and cello. Um, when talking about fingering cellos, just be careful, because I'm going to be talking to violins and violas. You know your fingers are a little bit different. So anyway. So let's get started. I'm looking at page 17. Um, let's play some of these songs. Um, let's start with 49, raise and lower. Um, what is the first note there? You should know that. What is it? This is where you would you would you would say it while I while I listen. It's an A. Let's get started. And remember, this is with the bow, so make sure your um, you're in shoulder position and your bow is ready to go. Um, yeah, can, uh, the cello's not shoulder position, just regular position. All right, let's get started, raise and lower. Here we go. Um, I'm going to play accompaniment, meaning that I'm not going to play your notes. So I'm just gonna play a little something for you to play along with. Okay, so let's get started. 49, is there a, a repeat? There is. Let's do it. Here we go. Starting with our A note. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest, rest. Let's do it again, a little faster this time. Here we go. A, 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 A. Oh, one, two, ready, go. All right, let's do another song. Let's do... Mirror image number 51, starting with what note? Hey, here we go. Here we go. Okay, 51. A little slower. Oh, one, two, ready, go. Repeat it. One, two, ready, go. All right. A strand of DNA. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Here we go. 
wait a minute, what is the first note? We The last two songs we played it started with, with our A. Um, what note does this one start with? Does it start with A? It does not. It starts with a D because it's lower on the staff. Um, you can know the difference between A and D not only by looking at the staff and counting the notes, but if you didn't know that, A, a is the higher one and B is the lower one. And you can actually hear that. A is the higher one, D is the lower one. Anyway, let's do this. Strand of DNA. Oh, one, two, ready, go. All right, El Olympic challenge, 53 central elements quiz. You guys should all be perfect at these songs because we quizzed on them already. And, uh, and I actually have my scores right here. You guys did a pretty good job. Shout out to Pia, Vicky, uh, Shlok, Jatheson, uh, Jackson, Michaela, and, and others uh, for getting fours for the first time on, I mean, fours, only doing it once. You got a four. Nice job. Nice job to those uh, those people. Uh, Mukta, too. Did I say Mukta? I don't know. Fernanda, good job. Um, there are some others, too. Um, Tuesday group, I don't think you've done your quiz yet, so you guys get a little extra practice time. Anyway, stop talking, Mr. Warden. 53. Here we go. Central Elements Quiz. Olympic Challenge. Uh, one, two, ready, go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Uh, let's see. Let's make it a little bit more challenging. I'm not going to do such an easy accompaniment like quarter notes. I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging. All right, here we go. All one. again. I'll sing the notes in case you uh, got a little lost. Two, ready, go. D, D, A, 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 A D, D, A, A, D, D, D. <laughs> okay, so enough of uh, our warm-up. Um, put your bow away. We won't be needing it right now. We are going to be in guitar position. So get your bow away, put it away safely, um, and turn to page 10. This is the new stuff that we're going to be learning. Um, I'll wait till your bow is away and you're in guitar position. Guitar position, not shoulder position. We're not doing that. We're in guitar position. Okay. So. The things that we're going to be learning today, we're going to learn two new notes, two new notes. So the first note that we're going to learn, as I mentioned earlier, is called a D. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hmm, Mr. Warden, we already know how to play D. Well, you'd be right, but you're also wrong. Um, we are going to be playing a high D. Um, we know our low D. Can you play it? Three, two, one. You're in guitar position, right? Good. Play it again. Three, two, one. And now we're going to learn how to play high D. Three, two, one. They sound different. Do you hear the difference? Okay, so how do we play our high D? Well, if you read at the top of the page, it actually tells you, and it gives you a little diagram. Um, D is played with three fingers on the A string. Cellos, four fingers. You need four fingers. Big stretch. Now, I've got a question for you. D is played with three fingers on the A string. We know a note already 
that has three fingers down, but it's not on the A string, it's on the D string. What is that note called? Three fingers down on the D string. What is it? It's a G, G, it's a G. You go one, two, three, three fingers on the tapes, press them down real hard, and you will play a G. Can I hear you play that? Three, two, one. Do it again. Three, two, one. Do it twice. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay. Here's the thing. If you keep that G down, don't look at my fingers. They're a little bit different. Um, if you keep that G, G down, you just move those fingers. Well, actually, no, I want you to look at my fingers. Um, if you move those fingers from the D string, and put them down on the next string up, down, you know, next string down. This is your A string, three fingers down on the A string, one finger on each tape. You will now be playing a new note. And that note is, as we discussed, our high D. Can I hear you play it? Three, two, one. Are you pressing down really, really hard? Are you? Are you? Because you should be. You should have a little marks on your fingers. So let me hear that D again. Three, two, one. Can I hear the low D? Three, two, one. Can you try doing this? D, 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 your turn. D. Do it again. One more time. That's how you play high D. What string is on? A string. How many fingers? Three fingers. What note is that called? D. You could say high D, but you really just need to say D. So it's on the A string, three fingers down, high D. If you know all those, all the, all that information, you will be good to go. Now let's play a song with our new note, high D. Um, before we play that, I got a little rhythm to play. You play it right back. Me first, high D. It's gonna sound like this: ta, ta, t, t, ta, ta, ta. T T ta, 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 ta, T T T T ta, ta, T T T T ta. Twenty three. It's called Let's Read D. Three fingers down on the A string. Pizzicato playing with the thumb. Here we go. A one. Sing and play. One. To sing and play D D D D D D D D D D D D D Do it again. Let's go really fast. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 D. Did you do it? I didn't hear you, so I don't know. That's why I keep asking. Anyway, next new note. So we already know one new note, and it's called D. It's a high D. Uh, next new note. So we've got three fingers down on the A string. This is the one. We have to lift that one up. Don't lift this one. This is wrong. Don't do your index finger. That's wrong. Three fingers down. Lift the ring finger. And you will have one, two fingers down on the A string. That new note is called F sharp. Wrong. It's not called F sharp. That's a different note. It's called C sharp. C sharp. Can I hear you play your C sharp? Three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. Does it sound like that? Because it should sound like that. That is your C sharp. If it sounds, if it sounds like any of those notes, that is absolutely wrong. It should sound like, it should sound like this. Can I hear you play it again? Three, two, one. How many fingers down do you need? Two. On what string? The A string. Absolutely right. So, okay, here we go. Let's read C sharp. Let's do it. Sing and play. Sing and play. One, two. Ready, go. 
You'll notice that I, I said C. Um, I did not say C sharp because that's, that's uh, it's just too many words for me to say. When I say C, you know I mean C sharp. We'll learn the real C much, much later. Anyway, anyway. So we know our D, we know our C sharp. Let's play number 25, which adds both D and C sharp together in the same song. Um, a little challenging, a little challenging. Um, Let's just take it one measure at a time, and then we'll play the whole thing. So look at the first measure. There's only one, I mean, there's three notes, but there's only one type of note. What is that note? D. Play the first measure. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Do it again. Ready, go. D, D, D. Rest. Second measure. What's the note? C sharp. How many fingers? Two. Let's play it. One, two, ready, go. C, C, C. Do it again. One more time. Play the first two measures. Three Ds, three C sharps. Don't forget the rest. Don't play on the rest. One, two, twenty-five, and go. Rest. Rest. Next measure, it's all it is, D, D, C, C, three fingers, three fingers, two fingers, two fingers, D, D, C, C, play that with me, one, two, third measure, go, D, D, C, C, one more time and ready, play, D, D, C, C, last measure, Three notes, D, C, D. Can you sing it? And I do want you, I really want you to be singing the notes. Usually I can stare at you and make sure that you are singing, but today I can't do that. So sing. <clears throat> Last measure, D, C, D, ready, go. D, C, D, one more time. Three fingers, two fingers, three fingers again. D, C, D, one more time. D, C, D. All right. Let's try the whole thing. Slowly. Slowly, I will play the notes. Rest. All right, here we go. Take off. Um, have you been thinking about why is this song called Take Off? Because I've been thinking about it. I have an idea. Do you have an idea why it's called Take Off? Hmm. Maybe you can uh, have your parents email me. This song is called Take Off because blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's play Take Off. Whole thing, slowly. One, two, ready, go. D, D, D. C, C, C. D. You did it! I don't know how well you did it, but you did it. And that's what counts. Okay, uh, 26, Caribbean Island. I'm not gonna teach it to you. All I'm going to do is I'm going to play it for you right now. Uh, I'm gonna play the play the notes. Um, and I want you to just try and play along. Um, it's every note that we know. I mean, every note that we've learned uh, today. It's not all the notes. Um, it's D, high D, it's high C sharp and it's our low D. So there's three notes now, three notes that you need to worry about. Um, so be careful, especially with that last measure where it goes 
D, D, D. I didn't sing it right, but you get the idea. Um, but we, you know, we started out learning our high D by going D, 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 high D, low D, high D. So that should be pretty easy for you. Mm, D, D. There you go. So let's just give it a try very slowly. There is a repeat there, so I will be repeating it. I recommend singing first. Don't play. Just sing it so it's in your head. And then when we repeat, sing and play. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, one, two, ready, go. D, D, C, C, D, D. D, D, C, C, D, D, D. Repeat. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the accompaniment to 23, 24, 25, and 26 so that you can use this time um, as just a little extra practice. And if you ever want to practice these songs again with me, you can go back to around the 22 minute mark and you can uh, just skip through the whole lesson and go right to the accompaniment, um, which is help, which can be helpful. Um, I will play every song two times. Well, let's do it three times. I'll do every song three times um, so that you really get a chance to play it again. If you, if you miss like one or two notes, you get another chance to do it again and fix that one or two areas. Um, um, yeah, let's do it. And then I'll tell you what your homework is. Here we go. Well, actually, let me tell you what your homework is right now so that you know. Uh, basically, it's what we just practiced. Um, if you take the entire week to practice 23, 24, 25, and 26 without the bow, you will be in very good shape. Um, this is everything that I wanted to learn. Next week, we're going to learn a new note. Um, chances are we won't be meeting in person, so I'll just make another one of these videos for you to watch. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, actually, you should probably skip to the 22.45 minute mark so that you can hear the accompaniment tracks. So homework, 23, 24, 25, 26, without the bow. If you can do all of those songs perfectly, you got two options. You can do those songs again, try it with the bow. Very challenging, very challenging. Um, or you can take a look at the next page, page 11, for a sneak peek into what we'll be doing next week. So without further ado, let's get this accompaniment track going. Um, I will play each song three times at a slow speed. Here we go. 23. Let's read D. How many fingers down? On what string? Three fingers down on the A string. Here we go. Except cellos, you know that it's four fingers. Anyway, here we go. 23. One, two, ready, go. Let's read C sharp. Two fingers down, A string. Cellos. All right, here we go. All one, two, ready, go. Rip. 
repeat, two, and ready, go. Oh, one more for repeat. One, two, and ready, go. All right, take off. Did you figure out why it's called take off? Hmm. All right, let's do it. Starting with a D. A one, two. Ready, go. Twenty-six Caribbean Island. This is the song that we did not play together, but you will need to practice it for homework. Here we go. D D D. Here we go. One, two, and ready, go. That is today's lesson and it ran about 30 minutes long which is um, a little bit over what we usually do in class we usually just stick to 25 minutes but um, that is perfectly fine I hope today's lesson was useful I hope it was informative I hope that nothing was confusing I hope I didn't talk too fast um, uh, yeah if you um, if you do do the lesson please have your parents email me so that I know that you did the lesson um, and if you want, feel free to send a video of, of you playing the songs um, so I can give you feedback or I can give you a round of applause um, or, if, or maybe I'll throw a pencil at you or something if you played on the rest. I don't know. Uh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Mr. Warden, out of here. Bye.